Bible Preparedness for Beginners. And today I want to do a quick little video on some information that has just come out over the last 24 to 48 hours just to bring everybody up to speed with uh, uh, the coronavirus that's going on. Uh, but you know what? The first thing today we're going to start off with a, uh, a nice little quote. Start it off positive. The learner always begins by finding fault, but the scholar sees the positive merit in everything. That's a pretty good one, you know. I kind of like this idea of uh, maybe starting this stuff off when I do my videos with a, uh, a positive quote that I find throughout the internet. Um, they don't always give names, so if they do give the name, I will let you know who said it in case it's something you wanted to look up or, or do yourself. All right, let's jump right into this. I don't want to spend a lot of time. Um, there's a lot of people out there talking about this and everything else. Uh, and like I said, I would be bringing you any updated information as I saw forth um, when it comes out. And um, there's been, a, you know, some radical, radical changes and some certain topics and everything else. And um, just find my. I do have notes. Uh, because it's a, it's a lot to remember. Um, I'm not an English scholar by no means, and uh, so I have to take notes and write things down. Uh, China on Monday reported 150 new deaths from the rapidly spreading coronavirus, and that's by the Associated Press. The new report brings the death toll to 2,592 people and nearly reported 490 cases of the virus, bringing the total number of those infected on the mainland to 77,150, according to the Associated Press. As new cases of the coronavirus in China continue to be reported, the country reporting the announcements Monday, it would postpone political meetings. I'll go spit it out here in a second. The vast number of cases globally are still centered in China, with the virus originating, um, but other countries have increasingly reported confirmed cases as well as deaths from the virus. Um, this is becoming the, 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 one of the main issues is um, now we're slowly starting to see that uh, this thing is starting to spread around. And um, I, I have a feeling that uh, you're gonna start seeing a lot more of this spreading around, uh, especially since um, all the, a lot of the companies our countries decided to uh, fly over and uh, bring home their citizens, which I, like I said in another video, you know, it's, it's a two-edged sword. It's a no-win situation. Yes, there are American citizens you want to bring them home, and the other countries want to bring them home to their countries because they probably feel that they're going to get better care than what they are going to get over in, you know, China. Um, but then again, uh, you're opening Pandora box and um, the next thing you know, you're bringing it here and all it takes is a few missed cases and people are live free and voila, we're in the same boat as China. Uh, the number of cases in South Korea surged 833 on Monday, which is today, up 602 confirmed just one day before, according to the Associated Press. Italy reported five deaths and more than 200 cases of the coronavirus on money, becoming the hardest hit country in Europe. Uh, in Iran, this is a funny one because uh, the last thing we need right now is people trying to play, you know, cover up with numbers because they don't want to make it look so bad and they're probably doing it because, uh, you know, they don't want their people to know anything. Uh, but in Iran, 50 people reportedly died from the coronavirus in the city of Qom. Um, a lawmaker reported he said even the health ministry reported just 12 deaths had been recorded across the country. That's according to the AP. So here we go. All of a sudden now we're going to start lying about this stuff. And um, that's not a good thing to start doing at this point in time. Um, we need to be truthful. We all be need, think all the countries need to be working together to try to find a vaccine uh, for this situation and try to get this under control instead of, you know, as I did say in one of my other videos, you know, the, the governments of China and our government here, uh, they're just hoping that when summertime gets here and the sun's shining and it's all nice and warm and cozy outside, that this virus will just kind of go away. 
CDC uh, to expand efforts to slow the coronavirus in U.S. as it prepares for a potential pandemic. So basically, uh, uh, sounds like maybe they're trying to get ready, um, but who knows? You know, um, uh, as U.S. citizens are rapidly, the CDC is taking prevention measures to control the virus to spread within the U.S. Known as a community spread, the coronavirus likely to occur through human-to-human -human transmissions in the U.S. as seen in Asia. The CDC continues to partner with local hospitals to expand its monitoring networks. Um... I have a feeling that this is going to go the, the wrong way. I think that um, they may have missed their golden opportunity to try to quarantine this to just China and come up with a vaccine or something to treat this with. Um, I think once they started letting people go after their supposedly 14-day quarantine um, time um, that they were okay and nothing was going to happen and all of a sudden now we have cases all over the world including our country. Um, as the coronavirus, uh, the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC is expanding its efforts to count and control for the virus as well as prepare for a potential pandemic. Speaking to reporters on Friday, this was last Friday, uh, Dr. Nancy, she is the director of the CDC National Center for uh, Respiratory and Immunization Diseases confirmed that the CDC's priority remains slowing the introduction of the virus into the U.S. Um, one way you're gonna slow it from coming in is stop people from coming in from any of those countries or that have had the virus or have been there while the virus is going on whether they're US citizens or not. Sounds cruel to say but we all have friends and family and everything else and I don't want anybody from my family to have to go through this or possibly die just because we wanted to bring somebody back here. Um, this buys us more time to prepare communities for more cases and possibly sustained spread. She said nothing in the U.S. <clears throat> is not seeking the kind of rapid community spread that other countries in Asia, Asia are experiencing. The community spread occurs when the virus passes from person to person in a community and the source remains unknown. Uh, she also goes on to say, uh, that it is not occurring in the U.S., but it is very possible, even likely, that it may eventually happen. Now, here's that likely word again, and this is coming from uh, somebody from the CDC, as our government and the Chinese government did state, which was in one of my other videos, uh, did state that likely they're hoping that when summer gets here, this virus will just kind of peter out and go away. And if you believe that, I have a lot of land for sale in the Cayman Islands, dirt cheap, right on the water. Uh, just put me a comment down there and I'll give you the information. They're collaborating with the clinics across the country uh, to help the CDC understand when we may need to take more aggressive measures to ensure that the healthcare workers on the front lines have access to supplies that they need. She said, we are reviewing all the pandemic materials and adapting them to the coronavirus. They also have outlawed all new methods for the CDC will be using to track and confirm the cases of American citizens with the coronavirus. Uh, the system was adopted to be better understand the spread of the virus within the USA, uh, she said that the current numbers may not actually re represent the state of the coronaviruses in the U.S. The CDC have confirmed that the new system, there are 13 U.S. cases and 21 um, cases that are under uh, surveillance. Several Americans are hospital, they're in the hospital in Japan as well, 
and are reportedly seriously ill. While there have been no fatalities in the U.S. so far, she said and told reporters that evacuated uh, passengers from the Diamond Princess cruise ship are highly contagious. As many of them are over the age of 60, she expects other issues to arise. And why did we bring them back here? Uh, we just come up, keep coming back to that. As more than 300 Americans returned home earlier this week from the quarantine aboard the Diamond Princess, 18 have been diagnosed with the coronavirus. She expects more diagnoses as some passengers may be incubating symptoms and may be aromatic about. She confirmed that there are no current vaccinations or vaccines, medicines being used to treat the coronavirus especially because they have none at this point. Uh, the scientist and um, special um, hospital authorities are working on trying to find a vaccination. And that's according to the John Hopkins uh, Hospital. Um, you know, unfortunately, it puts a lot of stress on our scientists, our doctors, and everything else because they're trying to come up with something to uh, stop this to try to save a lot of lives, which is, that's what this is all about. The one big thing that um, they do encourage, um, uh, hand washing. Wash your hands all the time, especially if you're traveling. Uh, you're allowed to take up to three ounces on the plane, so get you soon. Uh, you know, uh, stuff you can spray on your hands, you know, uh, to kill germs and everything else, which, whichever kind you prefer. There's quite a few of them out there. I think it's going to be three ounces or less that you can take on the plane. And personally, I would have some type of like uh, some wipes or something. You don't know how well they clean in the planes. Same with trains and everything else. You're sitting down, you know, you've got your armrest there, you got your tray right in front of you. And everything else and you don't know who came through there and where they came from or nothing else uh, better to be safe than sorry uh, the CDC is also reporting that the likely spread of the coronavirus in the, in the US officials say um, this part that I'm reading here comes from uh, USA Today um, <clears throat> and this was as of yesterday uh, health experts sounded the alarm on Friday over the threat of the coronavirus with officials warning of its likely community spread in the United States and the World Health Organization, cautioning that the window of opportunity is narrowing and for continuing the outbreak worldwide. Um, that was one of the biggest things that I kind of took out of that article from uh, USA Today, is, you know, they're just... <clears throat> Uh, I don't want to go through all this stuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me. China once again shifts its methodology for the county of the coronavirus. As China's top leadership on Friday cautioned that the country had not yet turned the corner or halting the spread of the virus that has killed more than 2,200 people. This was as of Friday's news. Uh, so this has been kind of like happening over the weekend and I've been kind of like putting pieces together to uh, uh, come before you and give you a video uh, over the last few days as I said in the beginning. Uh, we should clearly, uh, should clearly see that the turning point in the development of the epidemic across the country hasn't arrived yet, so they think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets a lot better. So basically, uh, let's hope that I'm wrong here, but you know, if you've got say 77,000 people that have this, um, what are they saying here? Once these 77,000 people either die or walk out of the hospital, um, it's not going to be over. Uh, it's pretty sad. Um, uh, we should clearly see the turning point in the development of the epidemic across the country hasn't arrived yet. The Communist Party uh, Standing Committee said at a meeting led by the President of China, uh, and reported state broadcaster of the CCTV. The 25 member, um, the 25 member committee made up of senior officials of the ruling Communist Party said in the situation and Hubab promise 
and its capital, Wuhan, where the outbreak erupted in December remains very grave. The latest warning followed several days of officials reporting indicating a downward turn in newly reported cases. The date, however, has been muddled by other changes and the country's health organization. China last week began to uh, record cases without waiting for lab results, which caused a big spike in cases. On Thursday, health officials returned to counting only lab-confirmed positive cases, disgusting that some cases where lab tests came back negative. The National Health Commissioner earlier reported almost 900 newly confirmed cases in the previous 24 hours, with the death toll rising by 118. Now, this was as of Friday. Um, I think you all were, maybe you might have been flipping through the news this weekend and stuff, and you saw that big thing that went on over there in uh, Ukraine where they started blocking the roads because they thought all the buses and stuff all had people in it that were, you know, quarantined and everything else, and they didn't want them in there. Um, yeah, I think you may see a lot more of that coming around. Uh, the economic cost of the coronavirus, American international companies are surround, sounding alarms over the likely economic impacts of the ongoing coronavirus break in China, warning that the reduced flows of goods and people into and out of the world's second largest economy would have a um, terrible impact on business and product, product availability throughout the world. Uh, watch out, Walmart. Even if the virus does not turn into a pandemic, <clears throat> to think that it's going to impact what's going on in the world is the irrational Scott from Global CIO wrote in a research note last week, the impact of all this on corporate profits and free cash flow will be dramatic. Um, and once again, we fall back to money, you know. Um, you, you would think that these people and some of these companies would be dumping the... Uh, uh, money into trying to find and help figure out a, you know, a vaccination that could save all these people, but it sounds like they're just worried about their money coming in. Um, business as usual has yet to return to much of China as retailers keep doors closed and particularly hard hit areas in and around the city. Where the outbreak is believed to have originated, more than 75,000 coronavirus cases have been confirmed worldwide at the least two, over 2,000 fatalities and infection death tolls climbing both within and outside of China. Um, some of the factories include a few owned by Ford, Toyota, and Volkswagen have begun reopening their doors to resume activities in recent days. A long-awaited uh, development for global supply chains that de depend on the Chinese products and immediate parts as long as that they have the, uh, the people to go to work, you know, and we're just kind of, you know, it just, just, just goes on, you know, it just basically, it's all the same kind of stuff. And what it boils down to, ladies and gentlemen, um, whether you want to believe it or not, it's all knocking right on our door. Uh, it's only going to be a matter of time before it's, it's here and uh, there's nothing we can do about it. We have to live with it. We have to figure out how to live with it. Um, that's why you see a lot of people out there, you know, they're, they're telling all their people um, that are watching them on their channels, just like I'm telling you, you know, just get prepared. You know, if you can still get them, we'll order up some masks. It, it doesn't, you know, you get the N95s or, you know, something like that. Uh, I ordered some better ones. Um, <clears throat> it can't hurt, you know, spend a little bit of money and just to have a little bit of backup. Um, cause you know, you just don't know what's going to happen, uh, with the whole food chain thing, um, and everything else that's going on. Um, but my suggestion to everybody is, you know, just really keep your eyes and ears open on what's going on over there. Cause it's changing constantly. Every single day I wake up, there's something new. Um, you, you don't see a lot on the news. Uh, they do give you quite these little updates, but if you really want to dig down into it and find some real information, you're going to need to go online and dig through there, and you can find all kinds of information, and some of it might just scare the shit out of you. Um, so you just want to make sure that, you know, if it's nothing else for your family and everything else, just to have the, the feeling that, hey, I did something. Um, 
Oh, is there anything else I want to cover today? Um, I think that's going to about do it for this segment here. I just wanted to do a brief, quick little thing and just uh, uh, go over a few things just to keep you up to date like I said I would. Uh, I'm hoping to maybe turn out another video later on this week and uh, on some different subjects. Um, I'd like to try to get off this subject uh, just because it, it is depressing. Um, and I don't like really the depressing things, but I also believe that you all out there need to know the truth and or what is being said. I can't myself say that exactly what all these news people are writing is quote the truth. Um, but then again, I'm just bringing you what I can find. So until next time, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would please hit that uh, subscribe button over there in that corner and click that bell and you catch my next video. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.